once you've gotten comfortable with tapping on the D string, move over to the A string, the highest string on the cello. Maybe you can already feel that it's a little bit different. After you've gotten comfortable tapping on the D string, let's move over to the A string. This will prepare us for the upcoming lesson on the D major scale. So on the D A string, we need to have the same approach to the string on the tips of the fingers as we did on the D string. And to do that, we need to be aware that the fingerboard is curved and not flat and because of that fact we have to move the arm slightly down. Feel the string, get used to it, compare the two. How does it feel on D? How does it feel on the A? And try to get them as similar as possible in feel under the tips of the fingers. Tap the thumb Make sure it's under the second finger. Walk the fingers up the A string from one to four. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Tap the fourth finger. Tap the third finger with the fourth finger just hovering over the D string. Second finger. First finger. Let's do it one more time. Now for a review, let's go over to the D string, raise your elbow up slightly, make sure your fingertips are flat on the D string. Walk the fingers up, tap the fingers going down. Walk the fingers back up, tap the thumb. Do the same thing on the A string, tap the thumb. All of these things are designed to help you be more aware of what you're doing with your hand, your fingers, and your arm, so that you can have a good starting place for making 